two videos in a row, although I gotta admit, that one, a little bit easier than on the practice board. That's just a normal Target Aspar dartboard. Great way to start the video off, guys. The brand new Target Dimitri Vandenberg Gen 2s. The dart review begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. I have an incredible video plan for you today. And I mean, come on, three bullseyes to start us off with. Again, in the middle of the video, I have some perfect match weight to share with you guys. And at the end of the video, I'll be smashing in a 180 as I always do here on this channel. So yeah, come on, it doesn't get too much better than that, right? And on top of that, awesome set of darts. So in this video, I'll be taking a close up look and reviewing the brand new Target Dimitri Vandenberg Gen 2 darts. Now, I can safely say this right out of the gate, in my opinion, one of the nicer sets of pro player darts on the market, a nice, clean, classic barrel design, great looking set. And I can also say, in my opinion, I think this is a nice upgrade from the generation one darts. Those darts threw okay, they threw well. I just didn't like how they looked. And like, again, like I just said, nice, clean, classic looking barrel here. I really, really like these darts. And I think you're gonna like them as you're about to see. So couple, it wasn't even a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, I uploaded a YouTube shorts video. I said all this stuff was a gift. The darts, the jersey was a gift from a company in Japan. Thank you very much for that. However, if you were to buy these darts, I did a little research. I think the best place to buy them would be double top darts in the UK. You can actually add in that discount code. That'll probably cover your shipping cost. And I think that's the best or the cheapest place to get them. They come in 21, 23 and 25 grams. So Take your pick there. But we got a lot to cover in this video. There's a few other goodies I wanna share with you. So uh, yeah, a lot, to get, a lot to cover. We'll hop right into it. Stats and dimensions. Um, after that, perfect match weight, like I said. And then after that, we'll get them on the board. I'll throw these for a little bit. I'm gonna try a couple different setups. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. It's gonna be a great video, guys. So here we go. Okay, guys, let me show you the packaging. We'll take a quick peek at the darts, and I want to take the time to show you these two items that I bought separately. These are not included with the Gen 2 darts. However, since they will both be making an appearance in the throwing part of the video, I just figured I'd show them to you now. So we're going to start with the packaging, pretty much identical to the Gen 1s. you got a few different graphics, a couple different pictures, but your typical Target cardboard hand case, it looks like. Mine took a little bit of a beating coming from the Netherlands, but hey, things like that happen, right? So the Target darts, they do come fully assembled. There was a foam insert, which I don't know, it's over on my desk somewhere. Inside, we've got your Target warranty card, 21 grams. They also come 23, 25 grams. I typically tend to buy the lightest version available just because I like light darts, but I will be checking the match weight in here in just a bit. We also have the Swiss point tool. And again, I'll be showing you how that works here in just a little bit. It's nice to be able to switch out your points within about 30 seconds. Now, check this out, guys. The brand new Dimitri Vandenberg 8 flight system. Pretty nice, right? And if you haven't seen these before, the stem screws in to this molded flight. And these flights, very soft, by the way, almost has like a rubber feel to it. So yeah, they're definitely not firm or hard or anything like that, but yeah, threaded stem, and that simply screws on. Nice, tight, flush fit. These are not spinning, by the way. Everything is locked in place. So that's the Dimitri Vandenberg 8 flight system. And then, check this out, guys, if I can get one. The brand new Target Swiss Storm Point. So you see the flange there. That eliminates the lip on the front of the darts that I'm always talking about. That lip will destroy your expensive molded flights, like the 8 flight system. So... I'll be using them in the throwing part of the video. Those are 30 millimeters, by the way. And finally, the Dimitri Vandenberg Gen 2 darts. Nice to see him go back to a basic dart or a basic barrel design. That Gen 1 that he was using, that was horrible. It only He only used those for, what, a couple weeks? So nice to see him going back to what he's used to. We got rid of that awful knurled nose cone that was on the Gen 1s. So we got a very basic micro multi-ring design here. Same Swiss DX points. And again, I'll show you how you switch those out with the Swiss point tool. Twin ring grip design in the middle. That's nice. And a very basic back end, kind of like the Rob Cross or the Glenn Durant dart. So uh, yeah, nice to see him go back to a basic barrel. 
In the back end here, we got the Target Pro Grip stem, nylon stem, 33.5 millimeters long. So that's a short stem and same old Dimitri Vandenberg Target flights on the back end, standard size. So that's the dart, but let me get a little bit closer look and I'll run down all the stats and dimensions I can think of. Whew, that was a lot to talk about. Okay, guys, let me hit you with some stats and dimensions here. And I'm not sure if I've said it thus far in the video, but I tell you what, I like these Gen 2s way, way better than the Gen 1s. Day and night difference, in my opinion. The Gen 1s with that knurled, sandblasted nose cone with the uh, razor grip on the back end wasn't a fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. They threw well enough. I really did enjoy reviewing them, and they did throw great, but... Yeah, this is right up my alley. This is a nice set of darts, in my opinion. Just, yeah, way nicer than the Gen 1. So, starting up front, you guys already know, 26 millimeter, and that means 26 millimeter showing Swiss DX points. Now, the barrels, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 49 millimeters even, and the barrel width coming in at 6.3 millimeters wide. Now, I unscrewed the stem. Check out the drill depth there, 11.4 millimeters deep. Now, match weighting, you see over here in the top left-hand corner, advertises 21 grams, and guess what? Probably already mentioned it in the title or in the thumbnail, perfect match weight. We've been getting a lot of those recently, right? But let's roll into the next clip. I thought it was pretty cool, so uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, wait a second here, so I'm just checking the match weight. First time around, it was perfect. Let me check. So, man, 21, spot on. Could this be another perfect match weight? No way. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. These scales are so sensitive. Sometimes they flip flop back and forth, maybe like one one hundredth of a gram. So 21, 21, and holy crap. Yeah, all right. Well done, Target. Perfect match weight. And matter of fact, these match up perfectly to the advertised weight. Now, let's do one thing while we're here real quick. Hey, awesome. I love to see perfect match weight. So yeah, well done, Target. Let's just check what they weigh or what they will weigh with the other Swiss point, the little bit longer version. So these are the 30 millimeter Swiss points. We'll check the barrel weight here with these, put them on. So how much weight did they gain? Oh, okay, so yeah, a couple tenths of a gram, 2125. So the 30 millimeter Storm version, Swiss Storm version is 0.25 heavier than the regular 26 millimeter DX point. And, hey, since we're here, since things are going well, let's just check the actual barrel weight with no point. Okay, 20.05, so there you go. I don't know what more I can weigh. You wanna know what the Swiss point tool is? <laughs> 4.83. So there you go, guys, wow. Um, perfect match weight, 21 grams, advertised weight is 21 grams. Perfect, that's as perfect as everything gets. That's awesome. Okay, guys, we've got a few things to cover, so we'll just hop right into it. So the totally stock dart here, as it comes out of the package, I'm going to hit you with a grip rating real quick. So you guys know I just reviewed the Gen 1, what, a couple weeks ago? I gave those a grip level of 2.3 on a scale of 1 to 5. I would say these offer just a little more bite on this twin ring grip. I'm going to go ahead and give these a grip level rating of 2.5 on a scale of 1 to 5. So, I mean, it's it's grippy, but it's not overly grippy for a twin ring grip. I've certainly felt more aggressive twin ring grips, but yeah, that's a grip level rating. The back end, pretty basic there with three multi rings. The front end, I mean, I guess you could grip maybe somewhere on the front end, but again, this micro multi ring section, not that grippy either. Now, you know what? They all blend in together really, really well. So I think grip level 2.5 is very fair. Now, the Swiss points, I want to show you how easy it is to switch these out in case you've never seen this. So simply undo them. And that's it. Take the point out, grab a new one. These are the Swiss Storms. And again, not super easy to do on camera, but try my best here. Those go in kind of hard, but again, perfectly flush fit there. It eliminates the lip on the front end. I'll give you a quick comparison. So there's stock and there is the Swiss Storm. I think if you have Swiss Point barrels, you have to use the Storms. And you know what, guys? Target has claimed to improve the strength of the new Swiss points. So honestly, I really wouldn't worry about them breaking. I mean, unless you're using like some super heavy darts, then you might break one, but I don't really hear too many reports of these Storm or Swiss 
points breaking anymore. So I guess that's a good thing going forward. So like I said, I'm going to have a few turns with a completely stock dart, and then we're going to go to this version. So this is the Swiss Storms with the 8-flight system, the Dimitri Vandenberg 8-flight system on the back. So which ones do you think look better? Let's do a little side-by-side. I kind of like the black here. I think that black ah, looks pretty good. Both of them. I mean, yeah, it's, they're both good looking darts, right? Definite upgrade, in my opinion, from the Gen 1. So let's see. What else? I guess that's about it. So let's get these things on the board. I'll throw the stock darts first. Then we'll throw these for a few turns. So yeah, here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Just had a quick warm up. Man, the darts are flying great. Really not too many complaints. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have a few throws with the eight flight system. The stems are a little bit longer. And of course, the flight's a little bit thicker, a little bit softer. So in my opinion, you guys are going to have to let me know what you think. If you've used the eight flight system, they fly through the air. Seems like they're really slow getting to the board. Obviously, I don't have a radar gun, but yeah, they just seem, seems like everything's in slow motion. So not really the quickest flights. But as far as the barrels are, I mean, nice grip. I think I'm right in the middle of the barrel. Yeah, I'm pretty much gripping with my pointer finger and thumb. Yeah, I'd say right in the middle on that twin ring grip. Feels incredible, nice clean release. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of this stem flight combo. I'm a little blocked there. That went in kind of straight, so I'm forced to go for cover. Nice cover shot. Oh, couldn't set one beside it. Well, a lot of you guys know I've been playing with the Condor flights. Those things travel through the air like rockets. The, the eight flight system though, yeah, just everything's slow. Yeah, everything's going nice and straight. It's almost a carbon copy. From, from where I'm gripping the barrel, it's almost a carbon carbon copy of the Gen 1s. And it feels pretty much the same in the middle of the barrel. We'll do one more throw here. Two at the 20, one at the bull. Ah, it's right in the middle of the bed. Ah, I thought I could go over there. Bullseye. A little bit low. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna switch to the stock setup. I'll speed up the video, but we're gonna get rid of the eight flight system, go stock. I'll be back in a second. And we're back. So yeah, we'll try it with the stock setup. Stems are a little bit shorter here in the flights. With them being thinner, I think they travel through the air a bit quicker. We'll see how this goes. If I had my choice between the two setups, I definitely prefer stock. Yeah, they, they get to the board a lot quicker. That's for sure. But just what a great set of simple darts. And I'll, I'll say this too, I think Dimitri got carried away. You know how Target, when they introduce a new pro player dart, they try to get it a little bit fancy that's just not Dimitri's style. He's always played with a very basic set of darts. So it's kind of nice to see him going back to what he knows and what works best for him. <clears throat> see if I can get over the top of that first one. Yes. Super easy dart to control. Like that last dart that I just threw. It went exactly where I was looking. I was trying to place it above that first dart, and I used the first dart as a marker, so it went right over. Again, super easy dart to control, nothing sticking to your fingers. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like these darts a lot. Look at that, nice flat trajectory right into the board, right into the treble 20. There's another one. Almost. Hey, well, uh, we'll call it there. I have so much fun. I could keep playing with these things all day long. 
And again, the Swiss point system, I wasn't, I wouldn't hesitate guys. I mean, I know that when they first were released, there was a lot of people breaking the points. I don't see too much of that anymore. And matter of fact, I would bet the farm that the Swiss storm points, which I'm using here, are stronger than the regular Swiss points. It just seems like that flared, um, the flared nose cone kind of would add, make them a little bit more rigid. At least that's my best guess. But um, yeah, I just really liked everything about these. Big fan of the Swiss point system now. It's easy to switch out your points. Hey, what more could you want? So, um, hey, we're gonna end up, we're gonna go into the 180. We'll give these things a rating and let's get out of here. This video is dragging on too long. Anyway, here we go. Like I said earlier, three bullseyes to start us off. Perfect match weight, 180 to end off with. Come on, that's a nice video, right? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the close-up look and review of the brand new Target Dimitri Vandenberg Gen 2 darts. If you did, thumbs up, always appreciated. And again, reminder, link down below in the pinned comment is going to take you over to Double Top Darts, cheapest place I think you can get them on the internet. If you know of a cheaper place, let me know. Oh, and by the way, we'll put up the discount code one more time. Save you like 5%, so it pretty much covers shipping, so that's pretty good. So, check this out. Whew, it's hot in here, I'm out of breath. Whew. So check this out. Um, I just reviewed, like I said, the Gen 1 darts a couple weeks ago, so those are still fresh in my head. Now, I'm gonna give these things a rating and I'm gonna kind of go off of the Gen 1 darts. I really like those, surprisingly, I like those darts. I would say comparing the two back and forth, they throw almost identical. I mean, for the most part, it's pretty much the same set of darts. The front end and the Gen 1's a little bit different, but they throw pretty much identical. Of course they would. I mean, Dimitri used both darts, so that's understandable. So as far as a recommendation on how well I think these are gonna work for a recreational dart player, I think they're gonna work amazingly well. I gave the Gen 1's an 8.9 out of 10, which I, th I thought that was a surprising score because I did like them so much. These are a little bit more affordable. I like them even more. So I think these are gonna work incredible for a recreational dart player. Again, 21, 23, 25 grams, great variety there. These get 9.3 out of 10. Great score for a great set of darts. Again, targets coming through with a quality control. Perfect match weight. Yeah, that's as good as it gets, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I would highly, highly recommend checking this set of darts out. They're, they're absolutely amazing. They really are. So um, until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.